Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Miss Linda C. Jones, and here with me once again is my very dear friend, Sister Jean Martinez. As we continue our communication series, we have much to share with you today. Um, among the, the many things that we'll be sharing, my dear friend, Sister Jean Martinez, has been totally filled with um, even more so than usual, a phenomenal sense of excitement and exhilaration about a very special celebration coming up that she's going to tell you about. And much of this has to do with Venerable Mother Henriette de Lille. And um, Sister, as you share with our viewing audience these many special things, at some point I'd like to sort of emesh a couple of topics that I've been talking about on YouTube, in addition to our communication series, um, I have been uh, discussing what are people thankful for, and I'd just like to throw out that it was it was on my mind the other day that when it comes to holidays and Thanksgiving, uh, one of the most important components continues to be families and friends communicating with one another in order. Uh, to have a joyful, spiritual, uh, peaceful, beautiful, and happy celebration. So I know that's a lot, but I'm going to hand it over to you, Sister, as you have so much to share with us today. Ms. Jones, you earlier asked, what are you thankful for? Before I even go there, I'd like to refer back to our project about listening and communication. And I want to say something here about listening, the ability to pay attention to and effectively interpret what other people are saying and also the signs of your times. According to the signs of your times, I would say Henriette de Lille, the foundress of the Sisters of the Holy Family, listened to the signs of her times. This coming Sunday, the Sisters of the Holy Family of New Orleans and everywhere else in this country will be celebrating the 175th anniversary of the founding of the Sisters of the Holy Family, which Henriette de Lille founded in 1842. We are 175 uninterrupted years. Beautiful. Serving the poor educating and doing everything we could to lift up the spirit of the people where we find ourselves with and especially the people of African-American descent. Henriette DeLille listened. She listened with her heart. She listened with her ability to get things doing. She listened with her ability to listen to a church that didn't readily listen. That is absolutely awesome. And I love the part about the uninterrupted years. I love all of it. I love everything you're saying. And I think that the listening from Venerable Mother Henriette de Lille, as I'm listening to you, I feel as though her listening is what has made this beautiful community successful in the outreach to help so many people. 